It is January 7th, 2026, and we're tracking two cold fronts that could bring an increased chance for rainfall across parts of the Hawaiian Island chain. Hey everybody, meteorologist Drew Davis alongside with you. We've got a no-hype weather forecast video for you today, like we do every weekday on this YouTube channel. Let's just get right into it and show you what's going on outside the window. A quick look at our first alert radar and satellite. Man! It has been really nice out there today. Lots of sunshine, especially after all that cloud cover that we had over the weekend and the first half of this week. Really nice. Lots of sunshine. Almost no rainfall across the state. If anything, we've been seeing just a few sprinkles over windward areas. But I'm going to zoom out and show you the next weather makers. We've got a weak front that's currently off towards our northwest. This weak frontal boundary is going to be moving down towards the southeast over the next couple of days and could fall apart on Kauai. Maybe bring some showers towards Oahu as we're going into Friday. Right now it looks like a most of the rainfall is going to be for Kauai and it's not going to be a lot of rainfall. The next weather maker as we're tracking this next front is starting to develop up here. We're tracking a mid-latitude cyclone in the northern Pacific Ocean. You can kind of see the cold front starting to get its act together right here. This next front is going to continue dipping down towards the southeast over the next several days potentially getting closer to us as we're going into Monday and Tuesday of next week. A lot's going to evolve in the weather models, but we're just giving you a heads up that it is on our radar. A little weather pun for you today. Here's what we're tracking. Mostly sunny skies, calm winds by the time we get to tomorrow. Again, the winds are really going to pump the brakes on the back half of this week and throughout this weekend because of that weak frontal boundary out there, kind of cutting us off from the trade wind flow. A weak front again moving in on Friday for Kauai. Maybe a little bit of rainfall and showers making their way to Oahu. Maui County and Hawaii Island going to remain mostly sunny out there and a little bit hazy with the light winds. The fog is just hanging around us. Here's the look at the current alerts up from the National Weather Service. We've been seeing choppy waters out there. We had a gale warning up with that Kona Low for all offshore waters. But now we have a small craft advisory that's slowly getting taken down as the winds are really starting to pump the brakes. Not as choppy out there. Right now we've got a small craft advisory over the eastern coastal waters of Maui County and the coastal waters surrounding Hawaii Island. These are going to continue until 6 p.m. this evening, but could be taken down uh, before this video goes up. So again, if you want to take a look at the latest alerts, you can always go to the NWS Honolulu website to take a look at the alerts app at any time. Let's break down the overall weather pattern, the big picture as I like to call it. Here's what's going on at the surface out there. So again, over the past couple of days, it's been very breezy because of this high pressure system that you can see off towards the northeast. Again, air rotates clockwise around high pressure so you see air going around this big blue circle right here it's somewhat southeasterly out there today but the winds are going to be weakening as we start to see this front that's attached to this mid-latitude cyclone out there get closer to us and cut us off from the trade wind flow so you can see the winds really falling apart you're starting to see the lower pressure that's hanging around just on top of us out there going into thursday and friday that's really the case throughout the weekend not really a driving high pressure system out there we might see a little bit more southerly winds going into saturday then that next system starts to move in as we're going into the beginning of next week you can see the mid-latitude cyclone developing out there potentially a much stronger front that's going to be dipping down going into monday bringing you a better chance for showers right now it seems like most of the rainfall is going to be for Kauai and oahu but some of the models today are actually hinting that this front could get all the way down to maui county which could bring some rainfall much needed rainfall especially after maui missed out on a lot from this kona low so you can see uh, a lot's evolving potentially watching a better chance for rainfall going into the beginning of next week moving a little bit higher up in the atmosphere again we like to take a look at the mid-level flow again i've been talking about how there's going to be more stability in the atmosphere over the next couple of days still maybe a few pop-up showers out there because of the light winds allowing sea breeze showers in the afternoons but you can see we've got high pressure and ridging hanging out over us at least throughout thursday and friday that first front that we're seeing that's going to be moving in on Friday really doesn't have the mid and upper level support to provide a lot of rainfall. Again, that first front is going to be much weaker than the second front. And again, the second front still pretty far out in the weather models. So we're still watching these both very closely. But as we go into next week, we start to see a trough digging down at the mid levels. This is also visible at the upper levels. You can see it gets a little bit further southward, helps develop that upper gives that upper level and the mid level support for heavier rainfall out there going into monday and tuesday so let's just take a look at the upper level flow as well so you can see higher pressure hanging around ridging off towards the southwest moving up towards the northeast and then we really have this 
upper level trough bringing in that very weak front that we're going to be seeing on Friday, mostly for Kauai. Again, the front is going to fall apart on top of the Garden Isle. Maybe a few showers for Oahu out there. And then as we're going into this weekend, we're seeing this next trough dipping down even further south than the first one, helping develop that mid-latitude cyclone that's in the far northern Pacific Ocean and draping that front off towards the south, which could potentially get closer to Maui County and other parts of the state. Maybe we're going to have to see how this evolves and how far south and southeast this front is going to be moving. So I want to, I want to play this out in our first alert future cast because you can see it kind of playing out similarly to what I just described. Here's that first front that's off towards the northwest, falls apart right on top of Kauai, maybe a few sprinkles for Oahu, but again, this is going to be really light rainfall, passing showers for Kauai. Maui County and Hawaii Island seeming to miss out. If anything, I could see us seeing a few showers over uh, in Puna Volcano, uh, just lingering moisture out there for the eastern and southeastern sides of Hawaii Island. Then that next front starts to move in on Sunday and Monday. You see it's got the upper level, mid-level support, so it gets a little bit closer and a little bit uh, heavier rainfall out there. So here's a look at the local view. This is the European weather model. Let's play it out over the next couple of days. Like I mentioned, maybe some windward showers for Hawaii Island. Windward Maui could see some lingering showers out there. Going into Friday again, that's when that front starts to move in for Kauai. Starts to fall apart directly on top of the Garden Isle going into Friday. Not a ton of rainfall for Oahu and Maui County. If anything, maybe a few lingering showers out there for eastern and southeastern Hawaii Island, windward Maui as well. Molokai and Lanai seem to miss out with the light winds in the afternoon. We could see a few pop-up showers going into Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Then we're watching going into Monday, that next front. This is Monday around 2 a.m. Again, this is going to change a lot. I don't want to focus too much on the timing here because the weather models are going to evolve so much by the time we get to Monday and Tuesday. That moves off to the southeast. And then let's just take a look at the GFS model because it plays out pretty similarly. We've got that very weak front moving in on Friday for Kauai. The GFS actually keeps it offshore of the Garden Isle. So there's still some uncertainty on how much rainfall Kauai is going to be getting. And it could bring a few showers for the Garden Isle. Then pop-up showers throughout the weekend. Again, the front continues to fall apart out there. Then we're really going to see that next front moving into Monday and Tuesday. Again, it doesn't look like it's going to be a complete washout, not a big flooding event, but a better chance for rainfall out there. And I'm really hoping this gets as far east and southeast as Maui County because it seems like a lot of, a lot of you guys missed out on the rainfall. And we desperately need it, especially with uh, still ongoing drought conditions over on Maui. It seems like the island of Maui really hasn't seen a lot of rainfall from this wet season so far. Let's run through our rainfall accumulation map just over the next couple of days. You'll notice not a ton of rainfall out there. If anything, with that first front moving in, Kauai could see anywhere between a tenth of an inch to half an inch of rainfall. Maybe a little bit higher than that, but I'm not expecting a ton of rainfall for Kauai with this first front. Again, this is Friday. Going into Saturday and Sunday, not a ton of rainfall, but the rainfall totals over on Kauai could tick up but still again it's uh, passing showers this first front looks like it's going to be relatively weak and notice lingering showers over the eastern and southeastern side of Hawaii Island and windward Maui out there let's transition into our winds outside because again we've been talking about how breezy the winds have been it was pretty breezy with that Kona low off towards the northwest of us our winds outside right now you can notice Overall, southeasterly flow, but pretty variable. Southerly winds in town, northeasterly winds over in Kahului, southeasterly winds in Hilo, and our maximum wind gusts over the last 24 hours, relatively weak. 26 miles per hour in Kahului, 22 mile per hour maximum wind gusts in Kaunakakai. No other readings are coming in. Uh, Again, winds are going to just really pump the brakes, and you can see that as we're going into Thursday. This is Thursday around 9 a.m. Winds anywhere between any direction, 0 to 5 miles per hour. Pop-up showers allowed in the afternoon. Uh, that sticks around throughout Thursday and Friday and Saturday. So variable winds, especially with these fronts cutting us off from the trade wind flow, are in the forecast. Unfortunately, that does mean we'll be seeing light haze, light fog over the next couple of days you can see in our first alert fog forecast of course this is from uh Manoa. you can just search up uh fog forecast to actually be able to scrub through this yourself they do a great job modeling this they run this model twice a day uh, and you can see heavier fog over uh near hawaii island actually creeping up towards hilo 
And uh, right around the park, getting over towards Puna and Volcano, it's just going to be spreading around Hawaii Island in light haze across the rest of the island chain going into Thursday. With these light winds, this is going to be sticking around. You might be able to feel it a little bit more, especially with the lighter winds and mostly sunny skies out there. It might also be pretty visible. Our surf and shoreline forecast, north and west facing shores again are on the decline as we're going into Thursday morning. A couple of other northwest swells are going to be moving in. I'll show you that next. South facing shore around 1 to 3, east facing shores around 2 to 4 for your Thursday morning. Here's that swell that we were talking about yesterday. Again, surf is going to be on the decline as we're going into Thursday. You can see that the next swell is going to be moving in Friday. This is around 9 p.m. on Friday northwesterly direction out there and starts to move down towards the southeast could potentially trigger high surf advisories maybe right under high surf warning criteria another much larger swell possible going into monday and tuesday of next week still on the fence if that's going to get to high surf warning level and running through our tide tables really quickly again we did have that coastal flood statement up earlier this week i'm going to start including the tide tables every day just so we can uh i know a lot of people have been really appreciative of the more um the mariner focused forecast as well so i'm trying to just cover all bases in these daily forecast videos so thank you again for uh, tuning in and trusting me for your weather information okay here's our island by island forecast over on Kauai, we've got scattered evening showers sun and haze calm winds could become more southerly in the afternoon on oahu we might be seeing southwesterlies in the afternoon 82 miles per, uh, not miles per hour that would be crazy 82 degrees in town waking up around 69 69 over in kaneohe tomorrow isolated showers out there My Maui County, mostly sunny, light, and variable winds over on the western portions of Maui County. Waking up at around 65, so pretty comfortable over in Kahului as you're waking up tomorrow morning. Getting to that time of the year where it's pretty chilly, at least for Hawaii standards, uh, in the morning. Uh, widespread fog over on the Kona side of Hawaii Island. Hilo, around 80 degrees for a high tomorrow. Still seeing showers over the eastern and southeastern side, like I've been talking about. Uh, and then the northern portions of Hawaii Island, widespread fog, mostly sunny conditions. Uh, 79 for a high over in Honoka'a tomorrow. So that's it today. Thank you again for tuning in. Make sure to like and subscribe. Smash that notification bell so you get updates whenever these go live every afternoon. And uh, comment where you're watching from below. Thank you again for tuning in. I'll see you tomorrow. Weather permitting, this has been meteorologist Andrew Davis.